like that game. Why would Martha ever be mean to the Julia? <laughs> Just literally made to make her life better. <laughs> love you, mommy. I love you, mommy. Cry, I guess. Play with your sister. Martha, don't you want to play with your sister? No, oh, these are these are just like things I need to do. I mean, I assume I need to do something My with darling. the. Mummy loves you so much. Um, I'll just take the picture, picture instead of throwing it on the ground. Well, I don't really want to do that. Right, I suppose. What are you doing? Are you crazy? I'm angry with you. I will beat manners into you, you stupid little girl. Come with me now. Come with me. I will put you in your place, girl. Sorry, Mummy. I won't do it anymore. I promise. Too late. These false tears won't help you. Stay still. Help! <laughs> Don't like where this is going. Now I'll make you want to bark. Um. Please stop. Leave my dog alone. Please stop. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, no. There's no point screaming, stupid girl. No, mummy, please. Sure, now I'll show you how insane I am. Uh, 
really want to eat that. Help, Daddy, help! I'm gonna be honest, don't want to eat that. Screaming won't work. Your father is not here like usual. Hmm. Eat it. Oh, she made her own daughter eat her dead dog. No, thank you. No. Eat. I won't eat him. I said eat. The tarot card, the devil. Yeah. I was beginning to remember, but I was so scared to remember too much, especially all at once. I didn't have time to guess exactly what happened. It was making me too upset. Pulling out those memories was like trying to pull out a tooth on your own. Almost impossible and far too painful. The white lady told me that the church is a safe place and home to its children. Don Attilio, my priest. I have to talk to him. I have to call him on the telephone. Okay, well I can't. That's not the way to the telephone, so I have to actually go upstairs. Nine, three, eight. Don until you're speaking. Who is it? Father, help me. They're all dead. Daddy, Mummy, everyone. Julia, come to me immediately. Don't stay alone. It's dangerous. Come to town. You can stay here with me and we can talk about everything. Okay? Okay, Father. But first I want to play with my puppets for a while. Julia, don't be silly. Come to church right away. What was the point doing that? I can't play with them anymore. My puppet theatre is the only thing left. Okay, well, I gotta go. Bye. I never found the pump, but it works, so... Oh god, I can't fucking see a thing. Uh. Wait. Is there actually some place I need to go? Well, this way. Oh, wait. What's this? Eh. <laughs> Is the pump all the way down there? How would I ever know that? Like, also, I'm not doing that. Because apparently it's finished anyway. Thanks to the heroic assistance of Martha Kay, daughter of General Eric Kay, a mission devised by the partisans to steal weapons from the German army has been put to a stop. The same animals were involved in the killing of the general's other daughter, Julia Kay. And, in an attempt to murder young Martha herself, the vile traitors were executed on the spot. Justice has been served for Italy, for Duce II.
Warning, the following chapter contains a scene displaying self-harm. Some players may find the scene disturbing. Would you like to view the censored version? I'm not going to view the censored version, so... Um... Ooh, maybe I should, though. I don't know. I'm not going to, so... Look away. They had all been killed and it was my fault. They were my age, and a few of them were our friends. I didn't think it would go like that, but wasn't it obvious, really? What was I actually expecting? I felt like a coward. But what could I have done? Should I have betrayed my father? I loved my father, but I also loved my friend Lapo. Which side was I on? I just listened to my heart. I thought it was the right thing to do. But instead, it was the worst thing I could have done. Mm. Could have gone better, though. I didn't go anywhere near the soldiers. Oh, okay. Germans or allies. They had all caused me harm. I didn't want to approach anyone. For any reason. Well, you must look a bit of a mess right now. Once I crossed that threshold, I completely lost touch with reality. Everyone around me had died while I survived everything. This is the brightest fucking thing in the world. I don't want to be here. You can't even see my face right now, that's how bright it is. Ave Maria? I'm gonna follow the crows, or the ravens. I don't remember how things went. I just remember a big light and then... Photographs were being taken of me. There was a man dressed in white. A doctor, I presume. He was asking me questions, but I didn't understand what he was actually asking me. He wrote something on a piece of paper and then two nurses led me away. I was in the mental asylum. Some women were talking to themselves. Others cried. Some were even covered in their own filth. Others were violent and tried to hurt themselves any way possible. There was this one young woman who would pleasure herself all day long, incessantly, to the point where she would bleed. So they would tie her down to the bed, screaming, cursing and talking oh, gibberish right, right, for days on end. Once her wounds had healed and she was untied, she would just start again. That woman was me. They started to give me injections. What they gave me made my whole body shake. I broke my vertebrae and an ankle. I think it was called cardiozole or something like that. Two faces. That. My body was like a fire that didn't want to be put out. When it appeared to be quenched, it would come back, even stronger than before. In the end, though, they won. I stopped screaming and masturbating. I stopped thinking. There was no longer any need for therapy. Something inside of me had died. But nevertheless, I insisted on carrying along this painful journey. I was stronger than I could ever have imagined. I can go faster now. Nope, never mind. Oh yeah, I can. I don't want to go over here. I don't want to go to that weird thing over there. Take me away from the fire.
Who are you? Wait, wait. I want answers. Don't go away. Talk to me about Martha, please. Martha does not exist. She never existed. She's just a figment of my imagination. Impossible. I remember her. I loved her. Both true. But do I want to go more like... I don't know. Like philosophical or logical. I have to Invention. accept it. Martha never existed outside of my mind. It's pointless denying this truth. It's extremely painful. And mother, is she alive? I really don't know. Her death could be all my invention. Or maybe things went just as I remember. I'm consumed by doubt. What about father? The soldiers? Did that really happen? If I, don't know. I think back to that moment, everything is muddled. I do not know how to answer. No answer is perhaps the most painful answer. What about Nanny? I mean, I feel like she's probably dead. She really had nothing to do with it. But she died in our village. Yeah, I feel like the bombings happened. We saved ourselves for some time by taking refuge at her house. Privileges for being rich. Feelings don't count for much, though. My poor nanny. I'm afraid to ask about Lapo. Lapo is dead. He was blown up by a landmine. He got into trouble and paid with his life. My dear friend, poor boy. Just as I remembered, unfortunately. One last question. The pregnancy? I was pregnant, but then I had a miscarriage. So much blood that morning. And my mind decided that things had gone differently. Who knows what else I was hiding. That's enough now. All of these questions are pointless, aren't they? It's all inside of us. We just need to turn the mirror. Is it not all just the reflection of an unknowable existence? Nothing more than a puppet show. Ready for everything with open arms. Even ready to kill. Give me a second to just quickly change something here. Ignore that. Uh, yeah. Just look at the pretty picture. I actually don't want to subject people to this if they don't legs want to see it. Always ready to She's showing legs that are also very broken. The womb that conceived in sin. Body now. And broken. Lastly, the mind. To protect us, it has turned us into monsters. Either way, we cannot live like this, can we? 
I'll take care of it. I don't need to worry. I'll try to sleep if I can. I've got this. She's, um, puppeteering her hands, like the puppet on the mirror, in the mirror, like the, yeah. And she just did it, as far as I'm aware. I don't think it's gonna... I don't think it's gonna come back to it. On the 26th of July... Or maybe it will. Because this is back to the beginning, actually, I just realised. But I was not there then. I was already in the asylum. Once again, stubbornly, I was not dead. The bombs hadn't killed me and I had also survived myself. The most absurd test, and the hardest one. The war ended some time ago now, both out there and inside of me. I was on the wrong side of the gate, but now I can turn the page. Life is opening its doors again, isn't it? If I hadn't been so lucky to survive myself, I would have thrown everything away. We think that danger is all around us, ready to attack. But the most devious and misleading dangers are the ones that are inside of us. They grow without us realizing. They make us suffer, remain confused, and remove our self-respect. I would have wanted to ask for help, but I was alone. This is my story. Thank you for being here, for listening to me. Now I'm ready to leave. I'm a little I'm worried it's gonna... To home. It's gonna cut back to her hurting herself. Wow, that's useless. Fortunately, today it's possible to ask for help and receive it even if we are alone, even if we are desperate, even if it feels like life doesn't make sense, if it feels like there's nothing left for us. It only, it's only because we can no longer see it. There is always something to live for, something great could just be around the corner. What an odd message to put at the end of a game where the uh, main character kills herself. Just very odd. Um, very, very upsetting. Like to the point where I'm, I'm like fighting back tears a little bit. I'm not even like totally sure why. Or maybe I just don't want to look into why. Maybe my brain's going, oh, I don't know why, to protect me. No, but, um... I kind of wish I had gone through it in Italian, but I liked the main character's voice in English. Like, I really liked her voice in English. 89%, yeah, I didn't... I didn't do the tires. Nor did I look at any fucking... I didn't ring anybody, really. Maybe I should have. Alright, okay, I'm gonna slice this one in half I think because I didn't know how much left there was of the game but yeah that was Martha is dead and um I guess I didn't expect it to go down that road I really went into this knowing basically nothing about it I think I saw like a um the thumbnail of like 
in my recommended, it came up with something like theory or ex Martha is dead explained, and I was like, well, this looks like kind of cool. I didn't click on it really, but I was like, oh, um, this looks kind of cool. I think I might have clicked on it actually, because I remember the funeral right at the beginning, like the bit where, not the funeral, but like you go and you're like the, the thing is there. Um, the casket is there and Martha, Martha is in it. So yeah, I mean, it, there's not really actually much to explain, I don't think, it's, or, or to theorise. I think at the end you can choose for yourself how you decided to interpret it, which I thought was actually kind of a cool addition. Um, so, but I do, yeah, I, I don't know, I guess what I said I, is what I thought happened. Honestly, you can't really trust her mind, and isn't that the scariest thing of all, when you can't really trust your own mind? Um, yeah, cool. I actually played this game. That's crazy to me, because I've been trying for a really long time to, like, play this and record it. But anyway, this was in place of Resident Evil Zero. I'm not playing Resident Evil Zero. Maybe I will. And I'll just go back and play it on easy, because holy shit, why would anyone play it any other way? Terrible. Okay. Um. Right, yeah. I will see you when I see you. If I play something you like, and if I don't, whatever. I'll see you.